I call this the, the, uh, a slow flip burr. Alright, so in this video I want to talk about slow flips, okay? Slow flips, slow flips, slow flips. This is the name of the game for real estate cash flow, um, especially in the single family space. Um, single family could be a condo, it could be land, it can be a townhome, obviously a detached property, like a or, you know, single family detached property. Um, I mean, this is the name of the game as far as cash flow. And what is a slow flip again? Slow flip is uh, buying a piece of real estate, right, to own where you get money up front in your pocket, non-refundable, plus generate monthly cash flow without the headache of being a landlord. It's a game changer. Once you learn how to do slow flips, you'll never be a landlord ever again, especially in the single family space. Like that shit is like, it's crazy. Like, it, it, and it, on top of that, we're all about money, you know, you and I just watching this, we're all about money. That's why we're entrepreneurs, right? So that means that we like high return on our investments. Being a landlord lowers your ROI, your return on investments versus a slow flip. Slow flips, you get higher ROIs because you're not doing repairs. Well, I'm not doing repairs. So I guess I just told, I just gave it away. I just, I just like to cut out the bag of which one I choose. So it's two slides, two, two types of slow flips that I want to talk about. Right. And I have clients, I have clients that come in into, into our program, our slow flip formula program. If you're not part of that program, click the link in the, in the, um, in the description right now, I have a, a free web class like book at least 60 minutes of your time because i'm gonna i break this thing down to it's entirely how to get into the slow flip game get monthly cash flow without being a landlord i travel i spend time with my family I have i have my own schedule i don't have to worry about any leaky toilet call and i still get the same monthly cash flow as if i was a landlord but i'm not a landlord i'm a bank okay i i basically uh, made myself the bank. I used to do section eights. I used to get those section eight checks and get that quote unquote guaranteed government money every month. So meaning the tenant basically wasn't late, but I was getting a leaky toilet call and I dreaded that. I dreaded the word landlord. I, I dreaded being a landlord. Okay. But anyways, let's talk about the two types of slow flips. And I have clients that come into our program, right? And some of our clients, um, they are, well, not some of them. We have clients that do either of these types. They do slow flips, they're not a landlord, but they, they do, a, do, do each one of these two types, all right? So one, buy, you buy a property, rehab the property, and sell property with long-term owner financing or lease option. So we structure these deals once we, in this type, you come in, you structure the deal, you do a one-time fix-up, never do the fix-up again, you do a one-time rehab fix-up, and then you go out there and sell a property on long-term owner financing and or, or or at least option. That's the that's the one, that's the first type. Okay. I don't know. This could be you. This could be you. All right. And I'll talk about you know uh, why people do one or the other in a second. Hey guys, so if you want to learn how to buy assets like this, is what we call slow flips. You want to know the slow flip strategy and learn the whole ins and outs. It's eight steps. I have my eight step checklist. You don't have to be the landlord ever again. Never have to do the repairs. Get a non-refundable down payment upfront in your pocket tax free and collect monthly cash flow and be the bank. Download my eight step monthly checklist in the description. Click the link below. The second type is you buy the property do no repairs, literally you don't do any repairs, okay? And you sell that property as is, because you're not doing any repairs, with long-term owner financing or lease option, okay? So you, I have clients that come in, and this is type number two. So I have clients that come in, we give them the, the uh, slow flip formula, we show them how to do this, and some people be like, oh, you know, Antonio, I, I think I want to fix up the property. You know, um, 
I don't know if I want to put a, a occupant in the property. I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like doing that type of method. Okay. So you can go in and what I call, I call this the, the, uh, a slow flip burr. I had a brain fart for a second. I call it a slow flip burr because you have to take out one R and that's rent. So burr is you buy the property, you renovate the property, rent it out, refinance and repeat. So with the slow flip burr, you buy the property, renovate the property, you slow flip the property, you refinance and you repeat. Or you don't have to refinance because instead of renting in the burr, you're gonna slow flip it, all right? Slow uh, burr, you're renting, you're becoming a landlord and they call you for legal toilet calls. We remix sticks up. We remix sticks up because some people like to go in there. They're, 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 that's all really re, what it really is. Is a, what a burr is. They go in and rehab the property, and they'll fix it up. Maybe in this case they don't refinance, right? Maybe they bought it for cash, so they don't, they don't need to refinance out with the bank, or they just don't want to refinance. They just buy the property, rehab the property instead of renting the property. They sell the property with long-term owner financing and or lease option. So therefore, they're the bank. They're not the, uh, they don't have to worry about any leaking toilet costs and they're not a landlord. Key. All right. So with that being said, the second one is where most of my slow flip formula clients come in to do. I have, I have some clients that do this. There's some several clients that, that come in. They like, they love the slow flip play, but they want to rehab, do some rehab to the property. I'm not mad at that. Okay. This is my favorite. This is what I personally do. This is what majority of our slow flip clients do. They go in, they buy the property, do no repairs and sell the property as is, right? When we say sell, I want to confuse some of you guys. So when we say sell, we're selling it on paper. We still own the asset, right? We still own the asset of that property. So just say, I'm gonna grab my phone case here. So let's say this is the property. When I say sell, we're not selling them, getting in, getting out, walking away, and we get a check, fix and flip check, or a wholesale check and walk. We, we still have this deed in our name. This is the property. This is my analogy. This is the property. You still own this property. When you sell it, whether you're doing repairs and you're selling it, or whether you're doing no repairs like we do, like most of my clients and myself do, and you sell it, you still have the property in your name, but you're selling it on paper where they're making payments on um, over time to you, just like a bank, right? The bank, they sell you the property, but they finance the property. You're making payments to them. If, they, if you don't pay them, right, they can take the home back, just like with us. If the, these occupants don't pay us, we take the home back Except, which I love, that's why I love another reason why I love slow flips. It's so, there's so many pros with slow flips. So many pros. You're in the driver's seat in so many ways. But if the the, the occupants don't pay us monthly, they get they they uh, get back on on behind on their payments. We do not have to foreclose on them. Fore, foreclosure takes freaking forever. We can evict them like a normal tenant, even though we sold the house on paper because of the type of documents you use, we use and how we structure these documents, we still can go in and evict them like a regular tenant. So we get in, get out, and get a not, a, so this is crazy. When we put an occupant in it, put, when we put an occupant into the property, we get a, remember I said, uh, a slow flip is a property that you buy, uh, a real estate property that you buy, get money up front in your pocket, not refundable, Plus, generate monthly cash flow without the headache of being a landlord. So when you get these, when you slow flip a property, you're getting a non-refundable down payment. And some of you guys is probably your wholesale fee, which is five grand, seven grand, ten grand, whatever. You can. We just did a wholesale, wholesale I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a slow flip um, deal recently, where where my client got 25k down, slow flip. So you can get these type of down payments, non-refundable. And here's the thing, they're not getting that back. So once we, uh, if, if, if they get behind on their monthly payments, that's where I'm going with it, when they get behind on their monthly payments, we can evict them like a tenant, which takes a couple months, two, three months max, right? But I, what, when we do, cause we're doing no repairs, we rinse and repeat, get another occupant in there, get another non-refundable down payment, five grand, 10 grand, 25 grand, right? In my market, where, where I buy my personal property is about 
five grand, three, four, five grand. As I'm doing this video, we're in a bull market, bull market. We're getting seven, eight grand. I'm not gonna say we're, we're gonna we're do that in regular markets, so that's why I like to say three to five thousand dollars what we usually get. But in this bull market, we're getting seven, eight grand where we usually get three to five grand. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but we're we're like we're using this wave right now and getting seven, eight grand, basically doubling our non-refundable down payments in my specific market. So I'm eating that up, like loving it, and we're getting higher monthly payments. All right. So with that being said, you get you rinse and repeat, get the non-refundable down payment over again. If somebody else gets behind on their payments, you take them two, three months to victim, get a non, another non-refundable, and it offsets that three months or two months of non-payment or whatever from the occupant that didn't pay you. So when you get the new occupant in, you got a, a non-refundable down payment and you start all over again. Without, if you go this route, like most of my clients, you do no repairs. All right, a landlord, no matter what, has to do repairs 